With the riverbed dry, the all-important preparations of the foundations which will support the 165 metre high earth and rock fill embankment are underway. The riverbed is stripped to reach bedrock. The walls of the valley are blown clean using compressed air jets to remove all loose material from the rock face. The rocky walls of the valley and riverbed are now drilled and grouted with a cement slurry under considerable pressure. This process seals rock fissures to reduce the possibility of leakage under the pressure of the tremendous body of water which the dam will eventually contain. Here, a grout gallery is being constructed in the wall of the dam to enable conditions in the dam itself to be constantly monitored and to permit further grouting should it be required. At this stage of the construction, the depositing of rock on the downstream side of the dam has commenced. All dams which have been built by the board have proved themselves. It is a big responsibility to hold more than a million megalitres of water and to ensure that the dam will be absolutely secure for all time. Modern surveying techniques here use electronically equipped theodolites which record all the data involved in quantity surveying on the project. Information recorded by the theodolite is transferred to a computer for documentation and evaluation. After spreading, the earth is compacted with rollers. This process will continue until the earth and rock fill wall reaches a height of 165 metres. 14 million cubic metres of earth and rock will be required to build the embankment. The reservoir enters this tunnel at Bell's Portal and then flows to the Upper Yarra Reservoir and so to Melbourne.